Happy birthday to my daddy. I'm so excited. Thank you everyone for tuning in. I'm super excited. As you can see, I have taken over the bishop's office, but we have him in a special place. And um, of course, y'all know I'm a daddy's girl. I absolutely adore my father. I sent him like a whole book that I've put some thought into. And I share with my dad that I literally, to be honest, I went to, um, uh, where was I? I was at Walgreens. And unfortunately, I couldn't find a card to express my love for my father and how special he is to me. Um, Superintendent Adams was supposed to join me because this was supposed to be covering all grounds of uh, love from his family, love from the church family, because we're just all one body of people. We all have this amazing leader and he's had this impact in all of our lives. So I'm going to bring on the bishop. We are far behind. We have a lot of great Faces to love on him tonight, and I want to first thank everybody for joining me this evening. So let's start by bringing the bishop in. Hello, bishop. Hey. Hi, daddy. I'm so uh, I'm so excited about what's going on here. Of course, uh, I man, I, I just didn't know what to expect, but I'm super excited, and um, wow, it's just good to be well thought of. Thank God, I see all of the stuff in the chat room and the comments and whatnot just absolutely amazing yeah. i just got a call somebody said you're supposed to cry on your birthday but i'm i don't want to do that oh my god no we don't want you to cry right. um, but what if we get tears of joy no we don't mind that but we want you to leave feeling um blessed and showered with love so i got some amazing people here to help me so i'm gonna go first we got a little program bishop Oh Praise the Lord. Um, for your birthday. Am I dressed appropriately? Should I put on my tie? No, Dad, you're fine. Okay. You're fine. So let's try let's start first with some love from GEI. It's been a minute, so we haven't been able to see each other. And I'm sure a lot of miss each other's faces. So Chris, you can take me out and let's bring in GEI family. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hey. Oh, my God. Look at there. That Eddie hey, how's it going, Oh, man. Look at there. There's Aunt Ella. We just got to ask about you. <laughs> the Rhodes and James Frazier. <laughs> I'm so glad to see you. Just the I Ayana. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, my man. That's Mama Claw. Oh my God. I promise you, Ella, we just got through talking about you. What about me? Just uh my dad is here. He asked me had I talked to you, and I said I hadn't talked to you in a minute. That's all. Good to see you all. And uh, sister and brother Wayne Gates, I'm so excited. 2021. Man, what I miss you all so much. It's what a joy to see you all. So I'm gonna um get the creation order if everybody can mute their phones. And because we are super overtime, I just want to um maybe you can hear really we love you your okay. most memorable moment and then um can y'all hear me or no? Yes. Okay, That's and it. then you can share. Um, I'm muting everybody. We love, love you. Let me mute everybody, oh, yeah. and then um, if y'all can just so the there we go. So just share a word, share a memorable moment, really quick. You have a five to one to Ah. Okay, I'm take people out that is not cooperating so we can keep order. I'm so sorry. So say really quick, um, a most memorable moment. Ayana, do you have a moment real quick? Um, yes, I do have a I have a few, but I'll I'll just briefly name a couple um very quickly. But um uh moving into moving into our new building, I just remember thinking like I've never experienced anything like this in my life the whole motorcade from curtis to, to seven mile um i just saw bishop you know just kind of encourage us and include us in that whole moment 
which was just like, you didn't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we are we are part of the church, but for him to include us and lead us through that moment was amazing. Um, Bishop J. Drew Shear Boulevard, that moment was amazing. Um, to say that I'm under leadership of this man is so is just so honorable. Um, or I'm honored to, to be able to say that, Bishop, you've always had a, a soft spot for the youth. Um, and so my last moment will just be that when I went off to college, I know that was probably one of the most heartbreaking things I could have done to you. Um, but you always supported me and you made sure that I was taken care of while I was away. And that was just a moment that will stick with me forever um, because I appreciate your leadership and your care. Um, and that was a little element of fatherhood that I got from you, even though I do have a you know a very present father. Um, that was just a little moment that I got from you that I was just like, wow, he he cares about me and my well-being and he wants me here. But while I'm venturing off and doing my own thing, he still supports me just like a spiritual father should. So happy birthday, Bishop. Thank you. I love you. And I, I will always, 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 always have you in my heart and my prayers and my thoughts. I love you. Love you more. Thank you. Thank you, Ayana. Okay, the wind gates, Aunt Ella. Um, I was about to call you Mother Sloss. Any of you, join in. You can totally come in. You got to unmute yourself. Oh, Lord, the seasoned saints. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah. I can hear you now. Okay, hi, Bishop. Hey, Happy Mom. Happy birthday to you. Thank I you. just thank um thank God for this opportunity Kiara has given me to speak to you today. I'm gonna think of a good remembering moment. I okay. remember back in the goodest day, February third, two thousand nine, when I first came to Great Evangel. <laughs> I can remember the time you spoke directly into my life. I was lost. I didn't have no other way to go, but you spoke to me. The word that you spoke, it was speaking directly to me. That's why I'm where I'm at today, because if it had not been for your leadership, I would not be where I'm at today. And I thank God for you and First Lady so much. You have carried me and my family. You have prayed for us. It has not been one thing I have come to you for. And you have told me no. And I thank y'all for that so much, for not just throwing me away through the hard times. Even through this pandemic, you have spoken to my life. You have kept me grounded when I just wanted to throw in the towel. But just listening to your word over this internet, you have kept me grounded for me and my family and my grandchildren. And I thank you for that, Bishop. I appreciate you. I love you for that. I don't take you lightly. I don't take you for granted. Even after all you've been through this year, you stay focus on your ministry right. and your church family. And I thank you for that. And I love your first lady to death. Thank you, Monica. Oh my goodness. You about to get tears out of my eyes. I love you. <laughs> thank you. Oh my God. You got me here. Yeah. I love you. Monica. I love you so much. Okay. Who's next? Let's make it quick. If we off Schedule, I'll get that, Daddy. The happy fit now, but it's still. <laughs> I didn't know if that was something in my house that I was going to fix or what. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Wingate, the Wingate. I love y'all so much. I Ella, Mother Rose, please chime in. Smiling, Bishop. This is Mother Ella Gordon, yeah. Yeah. and it, it is an honor to celebrate another year of life for a man with such great integrity, genuine care and concern for the mothers. You have show yeah, us incredible like strength. Yes, yes. Pastor, you have weathered the storms of life, but this past year was like none other. Yet you remain steadfast, unmovable, and focused on your assignment ahead. Your strength that you showed was a testament of your leadership and as a holy man of God. And you lead us by precept and example. And we're gonna give you the flowers today while you can still smell them. Amen. You're Amen. a husband, a father, a son, a brother, an uncle, a nephew, and a friend and so so much more 
I voiced the sentiments of all of the mothers of the mother's board. And we call your name daily in prayer as we decree and declare that the, your best days are yet to come. We love you, we love you, we love you. And we have some love here for oh. you <laughs> that I'll get to you this week. Thank God you. God bless you. Thank you, Aunt Ella. You know I love you. God bless you. Love you, Aunt Ella. Thank you. Mother Rose, you want to say anything? Yes, I thank God for our bishop. I praise God for you, Bishop, for love calling you. me and encouraging me. Yeah. Uh, while I was sick, and even when I got up off my sick bed, yeah. you know, you still kept in contact with me. And I thank God for the virtual ministry. I thank God for you, Pastor, for being so. I mean, it, it's a pleasure to say, my Pastor. You know, I call you a bishop, but it's so personal when I say, my Pastor, hallelujah. And I glorify God for you. And how you take a stand, hallelujah, for holiness, glory to God. I was watching the program the other night, glory, and you were just on key about everything, you know. I said, that's my pastor. I love you, and I praise God for you, hallelujah. And I wish you many, many more birthdays in Jesus' name. Bless you, Mother. Love you so much. I'm so glad to hear you. And I can't wait that we get back to church so I can hear you cut up. <laughs> All right. Love you. Love you, Mother Rose. Okay. Let's see who's next. We got some more love there from church. Is that Katie, a Meg Tall, and Aisha. Hi. Hey. Hey. Wait, something is wrong. Bishop. It's been 62 years Wow! since you've been born. It's been 744 months, mm. 3,235 weeks, 22,645 days. It's been 5,480 hours. It's been 32,006,008 823 minutes. Wow. It's been 1 billion, 9 million, 56, 5,029, 411 seconds. Wow. And you are still one of the most awesome speakers, leaders that I have ever been under. God bless you. God bless you. Thank and we've you. got something for you. Wow. We've got a card for you. <laughs> Thank you. We're going to drop it off at the church. All right. Thank you, brother and sister McTaw. Love you all. Yes. Right. Love you back, Bishop. Love all you. All right, brother. And Aisha. Hi, Bishop. I just hey, girl, to... how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I miss you all. I miss you, too. Happy birthday and happy Thank new you. year. Um, since I've been at GEI for a year now, it seems like forever. Um, I just want to thank you for your encouraging words, for your wisdom. I want to thank you for your leadership. Um, you have been nothing but amazing to me and my journey in ministry. And I want to thank you so much and happy birthday. Thank you, Aisha. You're welcome. The Wingates. Is it Brother Wingate or am I on? I think the Wingates. Yeah. Can they hear me? Go ahead, Dick. I don't know. We have challenges with the Wingates. Yeah, I'm, yeah it's maybe I, I might have overrode my brother and sister. I love your Wingates, too. <laughs> Look at my church family out here today. Yes, sir. Happy birthday. What a great day, man. On your birthday, I get to see my people again. Yeah. I love all y'all so much, Bishop. Uh, your family, man, just an amazing family. Your great, uh, your great leadership. Thank you. All of the people that surround you, man. You just a blessing to everybody, and you bring us all up, man. My boy is here too. He wanted to say happy birthday, man. Didn't Thank want to miss this day. Man. I'm just so glad and thankful you all invited me, man. We love you. Yeah. Looking forward to seeing each other again, man. I remember we were at to the airport that day, and we 
Yes. Back in uh, 19, we was bringing in 2020. And, you know, we, yes. Yes. we got better yes. days coming, brother. Yes, sir. And I love you, man. Yes. Happy birthday. Love you more. And I want to be a uh, part of this ministry as long as we we can do our thing, man. Either parking lot, virtual, whatever. We're going to get back in the church house, man, and uh, sing and shout, man. Don't cry today, too. They've been trying to make you cry. I heard them. Right, right. right. Say happy birthday. <laughs> Thanks, brother Jane. And Jane Jr., what's happening, brother? Hey, man. Happy birthday. Happy New Year, man. I love you, bro. I thank you for all the love you sent me and my family. Wait, man. I thank you for everything that you've done, man. Really, man. Thank you, I don't bro. Love you, life, Bishop, bro. man. Love Thank your leadership, you. brother. Awesome. Love y'all, man. Love y'all. Thank right. you so much. Okay, so, Daddy, you got some more love coming in. I'm trying to make it fast. But I'm enjoying the fact that you just have to sit there and take all of this in. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you see the comments, but so many people I'm are. Trying. I see them. They're rolling up like crazy, man. That yeah. is awesome. Oh yeah. my God. So I know you have some, uh, when you do your introductions for your guest speakers or friends and brothers, that's the phrase you use, my friend and brother. Um, so this is one that I call uh, Uncle Bishop, and um, he's always consistent, and I'm going to bring him in as a surprise guest. Oh, hey, Bishop. <laughs> my man, Bishop Carl Pierce, man. What a God joy to see you, man. God now, this you, is Bishop. a surprise, for real. <laughs> well, I just wanted to be a part of the celebration. I just wanted yeah. to chime in and celebrate with you this uh, uh, the occasion of your birthday. Yes, I don't sir. know whether you're telling your age. Are you telling your age, I Bishop? Am. I'm, you know I got to tell it. I'm 62, man. Oh, Bishop, Bishop, you're much older than 62. No. You're much <laughs> older. Let me tell you why. Uh. There's, never been a, there's never been a moment in the mind of God when you did not exist. Praise God. There's never been a moment in the mind of God when you did not exist. Yeah. So the date of your birth, 62 years ago, was just a manifestation in the earth realm of who God had always had in his mind and intended you, you to be. We celebrate you, sir. Uh, you a tremendous, tremendous vessel. And I would even dare say, Bishop, that for 62 years, the enemy has been trying to abort the purpose of God for your life, but he's failed. Uh, he's not been able to push you aside, not been able to negate uh, uh, the purpose of God for your life because purpose always outweighs the negative possibility. Absolutely. So I give God praise for you, Bishop. I salute you. You've always been significant in my life. And I just wanted to be a part of this celebration on tonight, sir. My God, this is exciting. This is exciting. Thank you, Bishop. Man, I appreciate you being on here, my man. I love you, Doc. Love you, Bishop. We're praying now, for you. Surprise, Enjoy Kiki. your birthday. Yeah, now that, I'm going to say to Kiki, now this is a surprise. You got me on this. <laughs> <laughs> and it was an easy yes. So thank you, Uncle Bishop. We love you and thank yeah. you again. God bless you. God bless you all. Man. Okay. Uh, all right, Dad. We've been in the house. Oh, um, here's some more. Here we go. Hey. Hey, Hi. hey, how you doing, girl? I'm good. How are you, Bishop? Good to see you. It's good to see you as well. All happy right. birthday, happy thank new year. You. Thank it's you, and so happy good new year to too. be a part of a family. Um, I just want to say I am very grateful to be a part of your church, your ministry. Um, I've learned so much throughout the I've been there. What I joined in 2018. Um but I officially came back last year, but I just want to thank you for your teachings, your wisdoms, the things that you've passed down. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for everything, you know, uh, accepting my, accepting my family for who we are. Cause there's been a lot of, uh, many a church that we've been to through our own home church that did not accept us because of, you know, us just being us, but I thank you for accepting us um allowing the just allowing the lord to use you and blessing us and happy get happy birthday thank you love you so much love you thank you serenity okay so now that we have a video presentation and then we have a family member who we've already seen already but 
he's going to add the spice because he has the good and true stories. Oh, so, let's go to the video, Chris, and here you are. You have arrived at your destination. Turbulence is the price you pay for flying high. So whenever you're flying high, you're going to have some bumpy areas. Too much, Kiki. Oh, Dad. Wow. Happy birthday. Thank um, you. yes, sir. So yeah. my highlights for the video was you shouting because you, you know, know that, don't we? <laughs> yes, and I can't wait to get back in church. But I'm sure Grady Emanuel can attest to this. As soon as you cut a step, the whole church be like, whoa, hallelujah. <laughs> People start running. And so <laughs> I just want to acknowledge um, that I appreciate you, of course, as a father. But what's even more special is you won't let nothing stop your praise. You're already a swaggy man. You keep your cool. You always look great. You're conservative as well. But when it's time to talk about your God and to praise the Lord, you don't even let your bishop clergy stop you. And I think that that says a lot about who you are. So I just wanted to um, highlight that. Grady Manuel is commenting like, yes, when you cut the step, we can't help but go in with you. So I wanted to get some good stories out of, it's only one that would know outside of the parents. So my uncle is here, your blood brother. Uh -oh. You can take it, Uncle E. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hey, listen, hey, you happy. Let me say, let me get the pleasantries out of the way. <laughs> happy, happy birthday. Thank um, you, sir. Hey, man, you, you know what? I, I, you know, as I look, I got a few gray and I noticed you shaved and, <laughs> and I know it's the reason for that. Uh, but you, cause you way older than me. Let me make oh, that. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hey, 
you know, somebody came up to me one time. I don't know if you remember this. They they say, well, well, which one of you is the oldest? I said, he's way older than me. Don't make no mistake. <laughs> but I want to tell you, man, uh, all through my life, uh, you you have always been, you know, because we weren't really that close when we were kids. Right. I mean, right. you were my big brother and everything. But well, as we became adults, as well, as I became an adult, because you were adult way before I was. <laughs> but, but, with that way, but, <laughs> As I became an adult, we became closer and, and, and friends. And I'm telling you, uh, I wouldn't do one thing to cross you. I just, because. Come on, Doc. I can't do this, man. <laughs> you, um, you, um. We have a need in a, in the church today, and I'm gonna just say it because I can, and because of the lifestyle that you've led your whole life, you are going to be the change agent, and and every I don't know why people are fighting it because it's inevitable. And uh, we can see it all over you. Every time you've been placed or, or founded a position, you have made it great. I mean, you've taken what was mediocre in many areas where they actually thought they were going to put you to die, but you made it great. And uh, you will be respected. And... Uh, you know, you are just, it's, and I've been saying this all year that the favor of God is over my life, but the hand of God is on yours. And uh, we just look forward to the, the, the leadership and the spirituality that you are going to bring back. Now, I'm supposed to be giving a <laughs> funny story, but I mean, I don't have any, but the... Um, uh, you know, you, 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 you know, you losing your afro there a little bit, but it's gone, uh, man. yeah, it's gone. It's gone. But uh, I'm telling you, man, in, and even in the last year, we become uh, close like crazy glue. And uh, I mean, I'm not, and, and you know, somebody said to me one time, or said about me one time, they felt like I was jealous of you. No. Well, you know, you somebody that somebody can be jealous of because. You know, when you got favor like you got, yeah, you know, the devil come in. But I have never been jealous of you. I've been so happy. Right. To, you know, I mean, I want you anything I can do to help you. And then this is the thing. I just want to make this clear. Um, you, I don't I don't want anything in return. Right. You just be great. Uh, it'll get. I get it together in a second. You just be great and show us the way, and we're gonna follow. You're a great man of God. I've always said it. It's been a. It's always been a pleasure to even introduce you when you came over to Greater Mitchell. Uh, and there's always one thing that I can say. You know, you got a lot of uh, sisters, well, but they're not real. Uh, and you, you, you got a heap of brothers, but they're not real either. Uh, but I'm the only real blood brother that you have. And I take pride in that unique position. And uh, hey, man, you're going to be great. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. And uh, I wish I could give you a million dollars. If I had it, I'd give you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just just keep doing that. One of these days, I might lay it in your hand. But uh, just, uh, hey, man, I, I can't say it enough. You are you are our leader. I mean, we honor our dad, of course, no problem. Yeah, Richard John E. Sheeter, we honor him. Yeah. But you are a leader, and uh, we look forward to it, man. God bless you, 
and I don't uh I don't have no I just remember the one time I know here we go. I'm sorry, I'm taking up too much time. Do you remember when I was in kindergarten? See, I was in kindergarten. You was in like the sixth or seventh grade. Was it? Oh, right? no. oh, no. <laughs> well, anyway, anyway, hey, when sorry. I was in, fifth grade, when, fifth grade. When I was in, I think it was kindergarten. I was either in kindergarten or first grade, maybe first grade. So anyway, you were a safety patrol. Okay. And um, and you were on your post somewhere, and then these boys they just wanted to beat me. I was like three of them, three or four. Of them. <laughs> and I was a little fella. You remember this man? Vaguely, vaguely, you and they was getting me, and I was fighting back, and they was there was just too many of them. But man, I'm telling you, boy, I got caught out of the corner of my eye. This orange safety belt coming around the corner, man. This joker. I mean, I'm sorry, Bishop. I didn't mean no. I mean, he came around the corner, and man, he cleared. He cleared them Negroes out, just beating them down. We beat them down. And then, and then I got, I got all bad. I was like, "Come on, come on, come on!" <laughs> I, had my, I had my help. I had my help. <laughs> and I, I told, I tell that at church from time to time, man. Uh, you came, you came through for me with your own safety. I don't know if you lost your safety belt for fighting. <laughs> but that's the God, that's funny. Yeah. Oh, Lord. You, my man. And it, I, I'm sorry, I gotta go. Kiki waving me up. You, my man, and there ain't nobody else. You are my man, and we're gonna push you because we believe in you, man. I'm sorry, I gotta go. All right, all right. Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you bro. You. <laughs> that was so perfect. <laughs> okay, that was, that was tough. That was tough there. That got real tough for a minute. Yes, sir. Yeah. How you feel though? I feel great. Good. Okay, I got some more surprise guests. Um, okay, let me do this one. Uh oh. Where'd that one go? Okay, here we go. I got one more. Whoa! Hey! <laughs> Warren Campbell, man, what's happening, brother? Bishop, Bishop. Oh, Happy, Happy oh, birthday, I, sir. I'm just looking at a picture of your beautiful family, man. God bless y'all. Oh, man. Blessings on you today. And and every day, really. Thank um, you. Happy birthday, bless uh, you. Thank you. to the illustrious bishop. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. man, listen, I'm all the way on the west coast, but you know, I'm I'm always keeping tabs on you, yeah, and, and what you're doing and all those things, because you know, you're one of those guys I look up to greatly, man. And and uh, I know I'm supposed to share a funny story. You know this story well. I, I'm sure you do. Uh, <laughs> see, I, 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 I've been a preaching mascot my whole life, you know, uh, I didn't know I was going to be a preacher myself, but when preachers would come into town and preach at our church and things like that, I would always go home and imitate them. And one, one thing that I, I used to love to do when I was a kid was try to imitate how they sounded. Now, if you hear me talk, I don't really have a deep voice like that. You know, my friends tease, my boys tease and say, man, you sound like Mickey Mouse when you preach. <laughs> I, I happened to be in Detroit one time, and I came to Detroit to to celebrate uh, Bishop Marvin Wine's birthday, who I, who we, who I, I call him my uncle. Yeah. I flew there, and I wasn't, I wasn't even dressed for church. Cause I thought we were going to dinner or something. I didn't know where I was going to church. I had on some jeans and a t-shirt. So I sat in the balcony with his son, Coconut. And wasn't nobody in the balcony, but the bottom half at Perfecton was full. And I saw you walk out. I said, oh man, uh, Pastor Sheard is here. Oh man, that's, I love that guy. And we had, I don't think we had met yet. I'm not sure we had met yet. Uh, oh, actually, yes, we did. Yes, we did. But anyway, so you preached this message, and it was I, I, it got a hold of me. I I wasn't even licensed to preach at the time. I wasn't a preacher yet, and uh, I hadn't even accepted the call to preach at the time. But the message you preached, it stuck with me, and and it's one of them things where when you hear a message like that, I I not only remembered it i remembered it verbatim i remembered everything you said the scripture you preached a message i was blessed on purpose yes yeah and you was doing this thing you was talking about 
uh, Joseph's sons and and his dad crossing his hand when he blessed yeah. them, and you kept crossing your hand over. I said, "Oh man, every time, <laughs> oh every time you did it." <laughs> but the key to the message was for me was the voice. If if you listen to Bishop Shear preach, you know you hear that voice, Bless and it, it's this it's this booming. You know, it's not many guys with a voice like that. So, wow. Year, years later, I I was invited to preach at this church. And I was driving from home from Vegas. I was working in Vegas, doing something, producing something. And I had to drive home to preach this service. And and I had it in my spirit. I wanted to preach this message so bad. So I called you and asked you, could I preach that message? Because, you know, I believe in, I believe in plagiarism. <laughs> Absolutely. With permission. You're fine, man. So I called you. Say, yeah, man, go ahead and preach it. Now here's the problem. It was terrible. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and the reason it was terrible because I tried to preach it like you preached it. I tried oh. to preach it in your voice. Oh lord! And I realized quickly, uh, can't nobody do that but you. <laughs> and and I knew it because at the end of the service, I'm trying to give this altar call after I didn't preach. And you know how your family come to hear you preach? Wasn't nobody in the altar call but my mom and my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And so I preached it again when, when we started our church. I preached it one time, one, one more time. This time I preached it in my voice. And I understood that uh, just from doing that, that one exercise, trying to preach in somebody else's voice, especially a voice like yours, God will give you your own voice. And I preached it again in my voice. And i never forget, it was something like 27 people came to the Lord that day Praise from that you. message. Yeah. And uh, I never forgot it, man. I never forgot it. And I, I appreciate you for being who you are, man. I just want to say happy birthday. Thank you, man. I love you. Thank you, Pastor, for coming, man. Absolutely. Love you. Thank oh. you, Pastor. I know that sermon, too. He It was it Cain and Abel. Not Cain and Abel? What are you talking about? I'm always blowing something. It's Manasseh Ooh. and Ephraim and Manasseh. Yes, yes. Cain and Abel. You believe Cain and Abel. Oh, I'm sorry, I was just reading. Why I tell Jordan what you see it. Cain and Abel. Thank you so much, Pastor Warren. You know the shears love you. We love you guys. Yes, love sir. You. See you okay. later. Happy okay. birthday. Thank you. All right. Okay. Uh, I got one more guest. Here we go. Sweet birthday. Oh, is this your birthday? Yes, it is. Is this your birthday? Is this your birthday? I said, if it's your birthday, oh. happy birthday, Bishop. You've turned another year, y'all. Oh. If it's your birthday, oh. Oh. well, 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 we just want to wish you a happy birthday on behalf of Instagram, Church of God in Christ. They put me on program to speak. I said, well, oh. <laughs> I got to tell Bishop Happy Birthday. It is Bishop. Look with the hair. The hair. The it hair. It is Bishop. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, sweet. God bless you. Bye. I got to go. Bye. I got to go. I'll get out of here. Okay, we just wanted to give you that, Daddy. I almost didn't recognize who he was, but the hair, the hair, the hair. Do you realize? Do you realize that some preachers used to preach with their hair like that, and they would shake their hair, and they would really thought they were doing some that Jerry curl juice would be all in their hair and stuff. Juicy curls, we used to call them. Juicy curls. Yeah. With Kiara, and the back of their suit. Right back here, it would be wet with jerry curl juice. <laughs> ah! 
Okay, I gotta stop. I'm not supposed to be acting up. Okay. Yes, you are. You and it's like so glow when they got up from their seats and that greasy. You're right, 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 right. Oh, oh my funny. gosh. This is what I wanted for you. We wanted this for you, Daddy. Happy birthday. Um, give us your biggest lesson. Um, it's your birthday. You're 62. You have accomplished so much. But tell us your biggest lesson. Share with us if you could. My biggest lesson. Oh, Lord. Oh, my biggest. What you mean? You mean, tell me what you mean by my biggest lesson. Um, Just like a, a um, out of 62 years, what's one thing that you just will always hold tight to? As far as a lesson, it could be, okay. it doesn't have to be just one. It could be more. Okay. Than well, I guess, you know, I think the biggest lesson of my life, probably, uh, to kind of put things in perspective was, um, you all have, pro have heard me tell this story before, but I was, I guess I was in about the fourth grade and, and they asked for nominations for captain of the baseball team. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, and so they somebody nominated me. And at that time, I guess the thing was to say, no, no, I don't want to do it. And so anyway, I went up and uh, and they and the gym teacher had us all stand against the wall with our uh, head in our arms so that we couldn't see who was going to vote for us. And so they asked to call the names and they everybody voted. And I lost the election because I didn't vote for myself. Mm. And so I came home and I was just having a light moment and I talked and I was talking to my mom about it. And uh, and I told mama what had happened. And she said, oh, no, honey. She said, you always vote for yourself. Mm -hmm. And that was the now that was a major life uh, lesson to me because that that propelled me into leadership. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. Okay, how's that? So good. That was great. So yeah. those of you, you gotta, and I think for me, what I because I've heard you tell that story too before that, but I think the first person to believe in yourself should always be you, so that you don't have to depend on someone else's validation to push you into purpose and destiny. So if it's not physically a vote, it just should be you believing in yourself. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Such great lessons. Okay, I got another. I'm gonna ask you about another lesson because you have a lot of young people from my YouTube that are watching. And of course, we want to hear your wisdom, but we're still showering you. Here's another surprise gift for you. Oh, my <laughs> brother. <laughs> What's happening, Pastor? My Bishop, how are you? Man, so good to see you, man. Oh my well, goodness. Happy, 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 happy birthday to you. Great leader, God bless your heart. And, um, I'm just glad to be able to come on here and to celebrate with you wow, on this man. birthday. Now, I, I'm telling you, I've been watching your 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 uh, your videos. I've been watching your uh, live broadcasts, and what you were sharing with the millennials and with the different uh, younger generations, and your wisdom that you have that you literally just poured out. I was sitting back taking notes. You are a great man and a leader of this time, and I just wanted to come on and Thank to you, just honor you, man. I just want to honor you, man. Love you, man. We we you've always been a great friend and brother, and uh, I appreciate you, man. For man, what a joy to see you here, and what a joy for you to come on. Thank you so much, man. And so, you know, on this twenty fifth birthday, we praise God for you, and we give God glory because He's a wonderful oh, soul. <laughs> 25, 25 again. Oh wow. <laughs> Listen, keep hold on to it as long as you can. As long as you can. Bishop, yeah. I just want to stop by. I love you. And um you, you my bishop. Thank you, sir. God bless you, man. Love you, brother. All right. Thank now. you, Akadani. Love you, Keith. Love you too. Dad, this was all so easy. So Akudani was another one. It was just easy, like, yes, it's, yeah, I joined. And sometimes I'll be out of town, like, working, and people will mention my father. And I've heard you tell the story saying a joke, like, you know, now they know me as Kiki's dad. And I'm like, okay. no, when I'm out of town, they like, that's Drew's daughter still. So I just, um, and it blesses my heart because even outside of, 
you know, our community, there are so many other leaders, young men, young women who are just like obsessed with Drew Shear. So I don't think you, uh, I don't know if you understand, but I just wanted the help to just shower with, shower you with love today. So I hope you feel it. I do. I do. Good, good, good. good. I got a few more um, people that I am waiting on. And here is one. This is the perfect example. He's been with us, but Papu, hey. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, hey, you call me. I don't get caught up in it. Hey, God bless uh, Bishop John Drew. Share. That internet is bad. Yeah, I'll tell Uncle Ethan to bring him in the other room. Yeah, that internet is bad there. Yes, sir. Um, so I gotta ask you this. Um, give us some notes or some tips on uh, for millennials. Millennials, pop in your questions real quick and um, celebrate Bishop with me. If you could ask Bishop one question, what would it be? Somebody said the Wi-Fi in the living room. That's so unfortunate that they know our house. <laughs> It's probably somebody that's been here. Yes. Okay, here's another surprise guest in the meantime. Here we go. My brother and sister. Hey, what's happening? Hey, how, how you doing there, Bishop? I'm hanging, man. Good to see y'all. All Happy right. Birthday. Happy birthday to you. Thank um, you, brother. Man, I can't believe I mean, Bishop, I can't believe you're 62 years old. It's 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 I, I remember we were when we were teenagers down at Wayne State in the student union. That's right. Uh, it seemed like it was just yesterday. That's right, brother. That's we, we right, brother. Got on just to wish you a, a very, very, very happy birthday. And, and now that you're 62, you're able to collect your Social Security. Wow. I'm going to look into that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, every little dime helps. You know how we, you know how we feel about you. And uh, we love you dearly. And you have yeah. been a consummate leader. And you've yeah. been a tremendous friend and a loyal brother. And uh, you've been, uh, what I like about Bishop Shared the most is that though he's, you know, he's, he's, he's contemporary, he's suave, he's fly, but he's holding this through and through. And uh, he does not, uh, does not at all, amen, uh, do any damage to the cause of Christ through his walk and his relationship. And man, I just, I respect the God in you. I respect uh, you're, you've been a family man and how you love the Lord, how you love the Lord's people. One quick story, because we're not going to be long. Uh, I'm supposed to come up or say something funny. And um, but I, one story I remember that it comes to my mind of many because our relationship has been solid. Right. It's, it's been it's been long. It's been enjoyable. And it's been it's been uh, mutual and respectful. And I, I certainly thank God for that. But my wife and I, we have three children. But uh, in our early days of marriage, uh, we had our daughter and our son back to back within 18 months of each other, Faith and Marcus Jr. And then there was a long spell of 12 years passed by. And uh, before, and we thought, actually, the truth of the matter is, we thought we were finished bearing children. And um, But the Lord visited, visited us again. <laughs> and so we were in, my wife and I, we were in such a, you know, well, we our mind was set on the future, uh, on ministry. It was set on establishing some things that we wanted to do. I wanted to do for her, and in terms of you know our upward mobility financially and all that. But um, um, as with Mary, she was found with child, and so, <laughs> and so, I was a little down and depressed and didn't have anybody to talk to. But one thing about Bishop shared, I could always go to him for encouragement. And he always had a word of advice and to always lift me up. So in my probably most depressed moment, I picked up the phone to call my brother. And I said to him, man, I, you know, I was so down. I said, bitch, I said, wait, well, I don't believe it. I said, I said, Drew, a lot, and I don't say that with any disrespect. Oh, yeah, we good. But, yeah, I, I, I said, I said, Drew, man, I said, he said, what's wrong? I said, man, I, I'm just down. I'm not, I, I'm, he said, he heard it in my voice. I was so dejected. He, he said, I was, I just needed some uplift. I said, man, you're not going to bleed this. He said, what, what happened? What's going on? I said, man, Pat is pregnant. I said, Pat is pregnant. We having another baby. And he, he immediately said in that, that authoritative voice, what you do that for? <laughs> 
And when he said, it, it just took the, it took, it sucked the air out of my, I was already down. And he said, I mean, I mean, man. He said, man, I mean, he said, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was, I was so shocked, man. But, but man, I mean, that had to be God. Cause you, you had, when y'all had Maurice, y'all, I mean, y'all, y'all, I mean, that was, he, he was the whole package. Doc. Absolutely. So Absolutely. It was a blessing. But man, right back there, that just goes to show you, you don't know what God is doing when he starts. Doc. You got to wait until he finished, man. You're right. But he picked me up after he, after he let me down a little bit. But I was, I was, you know, that's, I, there's many more stories we can tell. But we love you most of all. My family loves you. Love you, uh, uh, you know, I, I do believe that this is the year of 2021. That we're going to get everything done and God is going to yes. fulfill what promises he's made yes. to you. Yes. God bless you. May you live long yes. and may you live prosper and may yes. you live quality of life yes. uh, serving the Lord and the Lord's people. And uh, God's blessing in his hand is upon you without a shot of a doubt. Amen. Happy birthday, brother. Love you all. Love you so much. Bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Uncle Mark. Okay, here we go. Here's my granddaddy. Hey, Dad. Hey, this this John Drew Shear. Yes, sir. Yeah, my uh, love, love uh, late wife didn't want a junior. Uh, you can call it anything you want. I got one. Yes, sir. <laughs> We're so godly proud of him. He adds our family and dignity and everything. He let me say. I say again. I have never caught Drew. I say caught Drew. In a lot. He absolutely he went to school. He did what we asked him to do. We're godly proud of him, and and that's that. And a scripture I leave uh, in John. He said, "Now are we the sons of God? It does not. It does not yet appear what we shall. We shall be, but we know when he shall appear. We'll be like him. We'll see him as he." He is and every man that hath this hope in him purified him. Right. Come on, look at somebody and say, You ain't seen nothing yet. You ain't seen nothing yet. Nothing yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm watching the video yelling with the bishop. Praise the Lord. Yeah. That was awesome. That was my dad. He's in Kiki's chair. Whoa, Jason, my man. Man, Jason, good to see you. Bishop, what's going on? You my man, Jason, man. Happy oh, wow. Birthday. How you yeah. feel, man? Bishop, I feel absolutely amazing. I've been and praying for you. I'm glad to see you. Man, I thank you, Bishop, for your prayers. I believe part of the reason that I'm still here um, is because of your prayers. And um, when Kiki reached out to me, I said, absolutely. You, uh, I'd be honored to come on and celebrate my leader. And uh, I'd be on uh, Facebook, but you know what I call you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You, yes, sir. And I love you so much, Bishop. Um, sometimes people don't understand um, where we've been in life and um, how relationships have been established. Um, we've been together for a long time. I was 18 years old when I became a jurisdictional youth president and you were our international youth president and you have um, been a mentor. Um, you've been a father to many of us. Um, you've been our champion and you've been our bridge that has helped many of us to have opportunities um, that we probably uh, would not have had. I'm in Indianapolis in part because of the Lord, um, but I still have flashbacks of the meeting um, that you had with Bishop Sanders in my presence and went to bat for me and what you shared with Bishop Sanders um, about the appointment and the assignment that I have here um, in Indianapolis. And ever since I've been here, um, you have been a great, great support. And I love you so much, Bishop. Live long, be prosperous, and February 23rd, we gonna get it done. Oh, bless you, man. Let's do this thing. Love <laughs> love you, Jason. Thank you, Love you, bro. Okay, who I got some more people. I got some more people. Uh, here's another one. Whoa, Bishop! <laughs> wow, what's happening, brother? Man, happy birthday! Oh man, good to see your face, man. Man, it's good to see your face, man. Oh, we love man. you so much, man, and we're just so excited about this season of your life. I was beyond humbled uh, when I got the text from Key 
asking if I would come on and, and say a few words, man, just to be a part of tonight. So, man, it's good to see you. Of course, we've been praying for you and dad and for your family, man. And Thank you, you. you guys just continue to show us uh, how to live by faith, man. Just uh, your family's model down through these years has just been just priceless. Mm -hmm. And uh, I celebrate you tonight. And uh, I tell your dad, I still owe him a shiny shirt, but I, I didn't get his, uh, I didn't get his shirt size. So I, <laughs> we got to work on it. <laughs> well, he, he's at, at this particular time, we, we just were having dinner. He's, he's standing over here, but uh, he's, he's uh Man, of course, you know he went down to 138 pounds with that yes. thing. But he was just sharing with me at the dinner table that he's up at 190. So you better wait because he's wow. he's getting everything back, man. And so Amazing. I, I, I will let you know. And I, I do remember you asking me for that again. <laughs> but I will let you know soon because – He's coming, man. You know, we just got through talking about we had bought him a whole new wardrobe, but look like we have to do it again. You know, wow. so praise he, God. That's, he's our miracle, though. But man, thank you, Bishop. I thank you so much, man. Man, please. Thank you. And, you know, we're still sharing the same grace. Both my dad and my granddad were hospitalized with COVID. Uh, mm -hmm. My grandfather, who is 92 years old, was hospitalized with COVID wow. and God brought him out. And uh, he's still preaching. And yeah. uh, of course, you know, my grandfather's church. Well, of course, my grandfather transitioned the church to my dad now. Oh, I didn't so know that. My yeah. dad is pastoring Greater Ebenezer yeah. Missionary Baptist Church. Yeah. Uh, and so, man, that's that's just exciting. But phenomenal. We, we appreciate the grace of the Sheard family. And uh, of course, yeah. I'm. I thought about uh, I'm like, man, you know, I'm I grew up Baptist. You know, I'm like, you know, the the, the Sheards were always kind of like that other, it was it was sort of like a whole nother world. You had Baptist, then you had Kojic, then you had, you know, apostolic folks. But what I loved about your family, man, was y'all never act like, you know, we Kojic, y'all Baptist. It was just yeah. always you. you well, you you get it, and and that's why you are where you are, and you are who you are, and uh, you know we, I'm I stand in agreement. I'm Baptist, but uh, on the twenty third, we gonna get it done. I'm, oh, I'm, 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 I'm Baptist, but you don't even know it, man. You got Baptist folk over here praying for you, rooting for you. Oh, <laughs> but listen, I thought about Bishop. I know y'all got a bunch of folks coming, but I thought about why is it significant for me to be here tonight because. 16 years ago, uh, I sat in the back room at uh, your church as an elder at New Birth Missionary Baptist Church. And you told me that night, I preached for uh, Dorinda's meeting. And you told me that night, oh no, sir, you're gonna pastor and you're gonna have a great church. And I was like, man, <laughs> I'm an evangelist. Right, <laughs> right. So, yeah. uh, in three weeks, Bishop, we celebrate 15 years. Uh, the Dream Center Church of Atlanta. Uh -huh. It's been amazing what God has done in our church. And uh, I, I, every time I think about what God has done, my mind goes back to you speaking. And it was a casual conversation. I don't think you understand how prophetic it was. Yeah. And so let me just thank you for even in casual settings, uh, being still being the man of God that you are. Our church is 15 years old. It's it's an incredible thing that God is doing here in Atlanta in our church. Yeah. And uh, I just want to thank you, sir, for your example. Thank you for showing me. Uh, how to wear the mantle that's been passed Hallelujah. from the generations prior. And yeah. we're watching you. We're gleaning. We're learning. We're praying. We're rooting for you. And uh, just glad to be connected in some kind of way. Happy birthday, Bishop. Love you, man. God I bless you too, man. I'm going to send you some money too. I'm going to text key and get your cash out. I got to okay. send you some money, man. Okay, man. Thank you. Thank you. I love you, sir. Love you more. All right. Wow. Incredible. Oh, my God. You're kidding. The one and only. Bishop. Bishop. <laughs> Bishop, I'm listen. Here. I, I could not. I oh, had man, to come here. on. I had this to be is here. phenomenal, you, man. Oh, you my are, God. You are my favorite bishop, sir. Oh, bless my you, favorite. brother. I could not let. And, you know, listen, your kids 
called me uncle. So that they, you know, I ran into someone. They said, like, if if you're Kiki's uncle, which side are you on? I said, I'm on both sides. <laughs> I'm on both sides. But but I, I lean I lean morely towards your side. You you yeah. have been yeah. you have been a friend. You have been a brother, man. And um, I thank God for you, man. Our church absolutely loves you. I will never forget you. You came and you preached us into a frenzy, man. I mean, we still think about that. And I mean, come on, man. I just, I love you guys. I love your family, man. And I had to be on to say happy birthday to you. I love you so very much. And I want you to live as long as you want and don't want as long as you live. And I want to say this to you too. The 23rd, it's already done, man. Oh, bless you, it's man. It's already done. You're going to make me join the church now. Okay, come on. <laughs> you, God bless you, Bishop. I love you so very much. Love you, man. All right. Wow. That is amazing. Oh, what's up? What's up? Oh, now, you, you was way more excited for the last two than you were. Wow. Were. wow. <laughs> This is, oh, it's my crew now. Come on now. <laughs> oh, man, this is fun. Man, I had no idea they were doing this, man. I, I I saw the girl come in and put this up today. I'm like, what are they doing? You know, man, this is phenomenal. Jesus Christ. We'll let the bishop go first. Because the angle is better. They let you go first, y'all. He doesn't hear you. <laughs> Well, then I'll go first. I don't know what they're doing. Bishop, I am honored and humbled to be connected to a giant such as you. I mean, if anyone had any question, I think tonight solidified the fact that you are, in fact, a global leader, but not just a global reach, but a global imprint. Uh, there are very few people who have an opportunity to come into your presence, meet you, that don't have an indelible impression. I mean, it's, it's, like, it's like getting sticky, uh, something sticky on your clothes. It's hard to get off. You have a a contagious personality. You have a genuine spirit. You're a generous individual. And uh, as I often say about you and other great leaders, I can't say that you're a great dad because you're not my physical or natural father. I can't say you're a great pastor because you're not mine, but I can say you're a great example. You're an incredible mentor. And I've been able to watch you uh, from many years ago from afar and now of more recent time close up. And I've gleaned so much from you that has impacted my ministry. I wanna thank you so many times people ask me, why do you push and support J. Drew Shear so much? Because he pushes and supports me. And uh, no matter your age, no matter your region, no matter your background, J. Drew Shear loves you and he supports. And so I'm so honored. I pray that God will grant you success unlike you've ever seen. And I decree that this year, 2021, will be a divine reimbursement of everything you've yeah. lost for all of your sacrifices, for everything that was taken, looked over and lost last year and years in past, I decree that this is going to be a year that's going to be uncomparable. For the suffering of the present time is not worthy to be compared to the glory that shall be revealed. And I'm absolutely uh, excited about your future. And I just want to thank you for allowing me to be a part of your life and sharing your entire family. You are Hashtag goals in just about every area. Yeah. Hashtag family goals, relationship goals, father goals, height goals. But we'll talk about that another time. I love you, man. Happy birthday. Love you more, man. God. Whoa, there's CJ. Hey, Bishop. Bless you. Happy birthday, Bishop. I don't know what's going yeah. on. I don't know what's going on. There it is. Something happened. Can you, can you hear me, Bishop? Who is that? CJ? Yeah, I don't know what happened to my screen. I don't know. I see you. Go ahead. It's just a tiny set. What happened? Where's Happy Kiro? Birthday. Happy I birthday, Bishop. Thank you, man. We're so glad to be with you on today, Bishop. You're so special and so dear to all of us. And I, I'm thankful to God. You're such a gift to the body of Christ. You've been a gift to my family. And you. we love you and esteem you highly for your humility, your honor and um, for just being such a great mentor to so many of us that have watched you down through the years. I really believe it's your season, it's your time, and I'm just glad to be connected to you in such a way. Love you, man. You know I love you. Praise God. Yes, sir, Bishop. Hey, Bishop. Just want to bring you some What's love up? from Dallas, man. From Dallas, Texas, my yes, man. Sir. 
Yes, sir. Um, I just want to thank you so much, Bishop. Uh, you have had a remarkable impact on my life and, of course, the life of everybody that's uh, uh, sharing tonight. Uh, I can honestly say that you are the embodiment of answered prayer for so many young men and young women around the world who needed a reference. And uh, I thank you for being a reference of holiness. Thank you for being a reference of integrity. Uh, thank you for being a reference point for what a true visionary looks like. And I, I'll say this, um, we often trust the opinion of the fathers. Uh, my grandfather was one of the fathers of the church. And I'm, I don't know if I ever told you this, but I'll never forget he told me just before he lost his ability to communicate clearly when he was still able to talk, uh, you were on the television and he was watching you. And uh, I was helping pack some things for him. And he said, look at him. And I looked on the television and you up there preaching. And he said, you stick with him. He said, he is the future. My Lord. I said, really? I said, uh, you talking about the church? He said, no, he is the future of what all of y'all need in the church, outside of church. And I want to thank God for that. Uh, and ever since then, I've stuck with you, man, because you've proven to truly be the future. I've learned things from you that causes my own biological father. When I talked to him, he asked me, where did you learn that from? I said, I learned it from my spiritual father. And uh, that's Jay Drew Cheer. And so I, I love you, man. I thank God for you. And I am excited about your future. Oh, man. Love y'all, man. I appreciate y'all so much. It's absolutely remarkable. Oh man, y'all gonna make me cry now. Jesus. Before I, before I I cry. Cry. I no, I ain't gonna give you that satisfaction, Spree Well. <laughs> <laughs> before I get up, I want to ask everyone to hit the cash app. It is on the lower screen. What I do know is that when you sow into good ground, what's most important, more important than the seed you sow, is the soil you sow in and the season that you sow in. And so, so many times people say, well, I can't afford to do this. The holidays just missed. I ain't got my $600 yet uh, that's coming. Well, that's not the point. <laughs> Kingdom principles are pandemic proof. And J. Drew Sheard is incredible ground that uh, so. gives incredible Absolutely. harvest and increase. So he didn't ask me to do it, but I want you to hit the cash app. I'm going to do it as soon as I jump off of this, because I've just, every time I sow into his life and ministry, I can't even, I don't have the time to tell you uh, the miracles that come over my life because of that seed. So please do that. Let's make a smile on his face that's going to be bigger than it is now. Love you, Bishop. Love you, Bishop. Free well, free well always got to take over something. I'm sorry, right, Kenny. You were good, but I had to do it. <laughs> These are my brothers, and I wanted to do a segment of my extended brothers. So thank y'all so much for always looking out for Bishop, but dad, when me and Jay Drew not there, and I love y'all so much. I just have love to you say too, that. Love you too, Key. Okay, see y'all. All right, peace. Okay, dad, I got some more, but your friends aren't cooperating. Okay. <laughs> I got waiting on one more person, but here is Uncle Kershaw. My man. Hey, 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 hey Sil. What's happening? <laughs> right. Hey, man. Happy birthday. Happy to birthday. You, man. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad to see y'all. Uh, thank you. You, you are uh, you're my older brother, not my oldest. Well, Reggie will keep that forever. But <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday to you, man. We're just uh, you, man. Uh, Max was reminding me that uh, last year we were together uh, with your birthday celebrating and COVID doesn't allow it. Um, uh, man, if anybody is deserving of a surprise event like this, uh, and of course your daughter has organized this, this has been absolutely wonderful. Tell you a quick story. Um, uh, I remember at Bishop Pierce's church, one of the regional rallies, I was introducing you. And um, uh, in the introduction, I made mention of the fact that um, Drew has been too good to some of you Negroes. I wouldn't be that. Uh, it's just the heart of who you are. Uh, many of us uh, are better men, better ministers uh, because of the impact that you've had on us. So uh, enjoy the night, the evening, the day, the celebration, uh, man, and we'll look to hook up soon. Love you, man. Love you. Love and you I too. got my sister there. I know she's going to say something about us, but I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm going to say something really nice. What I want to say to you, though, to you, I'm going to take you. Because okay. 
will say this. You are the real deal. Thank you, Sid. You're the people. You're the person that people look at TV and they say, oh, I wish I could know them and um, see if they are a real person. You're the real deal. And I am so grateful and honored on a serious note to know you. And um, I'm so proud of you. And I'm looking for that date, too. I wish they would let me vote. Praise the Lord. Because my <laughs> vote is for you. Thank right. you. I love you so much and we appreciate it. I love you more. Love y'all. Love both of y'all. Thank you so much for coming. All right, man. All right, man. Talk. Wow. What an incredible night. Whoa. Oh, look at that hat. You better go, girl. Bishop. Oh, look at Jackie's hat. I love that hat. Well, I'm what about I'm talking about Jackie. Oh, 26 years old. I'm so proud of you. What about mine? Yeah, what about it? Hey, hey, this is my pandemic. This well, you're 26. You finally made it. <laughs> no, we no I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay, Jackie. I'm 62. I'm okay. Oh, okay, you 62. Oh, I, God. I want you to say 26. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad to see y'all. Bishop. Yeah. Bishop, you I'm are gonna add, I want to add one thing. Dorinda, Chatty Kathy, just wait a minute. Let me say it to my pastor. <laughs> to be, I'm going to piggyback off what Sister Kershaw said. I'm so glad I know you. I'm so glad I know you. <laughs> you have taught me so much. You are such an inspiration. And mm. I love you from the bottom of my heart. You don't even understand how impactful you have been in my life. How uh, instrumental you have been, not only in my life, but in everybody's life that has anything to do with you. Um, you have taught me so much. I've learned so much from you, and I have grown so much since being at my home church. And I'm really, really proud of who you are. I'm proud to know you. And um, I can remember one time we went, you took, you know, don't you say nothing, Bishop, let me talk. Okay. I remember one time you took me to the restaurant, and we took me to the restaurant. And I looked at the menu and I oh, said, no. no, I gotta say oh, something. I gotta say something. Hey, Dorinda, Dorinda, I gotta say something. Because it was a rep, it was a no, you can't say nothing, you can't say nothing in New York City. I gotta say something. <laughs> Very fine restaurant. How about that, Bishop? Wait a minute. Hey, I just made one mistake. That's what I said. This is what I said, y'all. I said, Bishop, this menu don't have no. Don't have no prices up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord! I shall never forget that bishop. But it's okay, bishop, because I learned a lot from that one moment. Yes, it taught me a whole bunch. And now I can go to any restaurant with you. I ain't saying nothing. Ain't saying not not a thing. He's not proud of thing. me. He's proud of me, bishop. Am. And, and not only that, wait, and not only, what else he teach you? What else he teach you? Not not just you, but he taught me. You uh, don't take out a doggy bag. Not that oh, those no, we kind don't of do that. Are. We don't do that. You remember we that? Don't the know, we don't do that. I'm going to need a, all, you're paying all this money. I'm going to need a doggy bag. No, 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 no. We don't do that. <laughs> Say, no, no, no. You don't do that at this restaurant. Tell you can't be quiet. <laughs> No, oh, that is funny, Jackie. Thank you for telling that. I love you, Bishop. Happy birthday. Love Happy more. 62. You know Thank I love you. You were so helpful and gracious to me at the time of my husband's death. I will never forget you for that because you stood by me from, from the day, from the time he closed his eyes all the way until we put him away. I thank you. I want you to know that I will never, and my kids will never forget your kindness and your love that you showed us. I appreciate you and I love you. I'm gonna shut up so Caddy Cat Chatty Kathy wants to say something. I'm gonna let her say oh something now. Love so Chatty Kathy is talking love out. Love I love you, Bishop. Love Bishop. You. Bishop, happy, happy birthday. You know, this is the only time or the only person uh in our family that we can wish a happy birthday and a happy new year. At the same time. At the same time, he's the only one, the only one in our family. And Bishop, I just want to say to you, and this is on a really, really um, 
um, a good note. And you know, Ethan had me going. He had me going. Oh my Jesus. I know he had everybody on the internet going today. <laughs> oh my Jesus. He had us because he really, really brought tears to, I guess, everybody's eyes because it was just a brother, brotherly love, the sentiments, and just to see that that just that just did something tonight but to really see where you come from bishop um and i'm saying this from the sentiments of, of my heart because if it was not for you i don't think i would be where i am and, I, and i'm and, and i know we have come we have shared the ministry from day one because we remember the last day crusaders yeah. a lot of people don't know that's where our beginning ministry started that's right. um, we started here in Detroit. We were running revivals right. in our early teens, and I'm telling you, just to see. No, no, you were early teen. I was. Oh, I was. Watch yourself, I was, <laughs> watch yourself now. Watch I yourself. Was, no, I was early teen. You was late teen. Come on now. <laughs> we're still teens, though. We were still teens, and then um, you know, just I, because if it wasn't really for you, though, Bishop, I wouldn't really be. I guess um, matriculating into the ministry that I'm in now. Long girl, and, get, in big words. get out of here. And then to be able to work in the church and be the administrator that I am, it's all because of you. Um, so I thank you. I want you to have the best. This year is going to be a great year for you. So just get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Eyes have not yes. seen, ears have not heard. It has not entered into the enemy's heart the great things that God has in Lord, for you. So get ready, bro. Praise Hallelujah. Not for you. I love y'all. Love you too. Love you too, All right. All right, bye bye. Thank bye. you so much. Love you, man. Okay. Thank you so much, IT. I right, love you, sweetie. Okay, Dad, stand by. I'm gonna take you out, and then I have another surprise guest. Oh, okay. Okay, I hope y'all are enjoying it. Don't judge how I look, um, but y'all see I'm obsessed with my daddy. I love you so much, daddy. And I hope you feel the love. Here's your other. So I was trying to bring on Auntie Dorinda and this other surprise guest together because um, in my childhood, I always heard you end your night with a phone call. And it was always a loud phone call. It was a phone call with the three of you, it was Auntie Dorinda, you, and who else you think it was? Auntie Cindy. That's the yes, go. There go. Hey. Here I am. What's up? What's going on? I'm good. I'm good. Good to see you. It is so good to see you two on your 62, 62 yes. birthday. Yes. Mm -hmm. Senior. The Watch oldest. Yourself. I need Dorinda on here with me, too. Right. Yeah. <laughs> There she is. Now, now we can't have our conversation now, and the whole world will know what we're talking about. No, no, we're not gonna, we're not gonna share everything. Oh, oh no. but we just, you know, it's been a long time coming. It's been a long time. <laughs> no, no, we yeah. just have a good time together. We, we just have, we just, we, we do. Have, we have an we excellent have time on that telephone. Yes, we be having our testimony services. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Straightening things out, getting yes. things in order. And then we just be just reminiscing about the church and how the Lord has just been blessing. <laughs> and then we be crying because we, we lost so many people. And we yes. Just praying yes. for the saints that yes. are going on and praying for the families <laughs> that have lost the loved ones. She, she, gone, she gone, Cindy. She gone. I know. She is. She is. She gone. This is it for the night. Breaks. We take breaks and we go to the restroom and we come back. Ooh. Ooh. 
Yeah, yeah, he goes down. That's there. too much information, Dorinda. He goes Dorinda too much information. They don't need to know we're going to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> but we do, we do take a little break and get something to drink because I'm going to go dry. You got to go way down the hallway. You got to go way hey, down. Hey, take off. This ain't no little. This ain't no little apartment. This is a, this is a mansion. Right, 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 right. <laughs> oh, my Lord. But I am so glad to be on here. I'm so glad to see you, Bishop. Happy oh, birthday. Man. You know, you mean the world to me. This is so, so, so wonderful. Oh, I am here in um, beautiful Florida with no snow, no rain. Oh, no. It's a wonderful thing. But I miss you guys so, 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 so much. So yeah. much. But maybe one day we'll be back together soon. We will. We will. I have to sell my house and move back. Oh, better not say that. We're on Facebook. Yeah. Don't, get let that me start, don't let me start speaking into your life. Oh, Ooh, I just oh, bought the yeah. house. We can't sell it just yet. This, can that we? don't make nothing. Don't you have to stay in it for a certain amount of no. months? No. no. Oh, okay. Well, so you ain't, you ain't coming up here that soon. It's going to be different. It's going to be, you know, when you come out the cold, I mean, we don't have no cold weather like that here. Mm -mm. It's just beautiful all the time, except for when the hurricanes come. And then that's when we have a few issues. But we have learned how to work with that. Yeah, we need we need to come to Florida. Please. Come on down. I got enough room for all of you. Okay. <laughs> she got that new house. Yeah. She got that new house. That's right. So we're going to come. Come on down. Come on down to Florida. As soon as we okay. get this pandemic. Um, goes away. Kiki cutting us off. Uh, Reverend Doctor Kiki cutting us off. You know, Karen. <laughs> Come on down. I just, just want to tell the audience, y'all. They're laughing at y'all, Daddy, but y'all see the conversations that I have had. I've heard in my bedroom since I was a child until now. <laughs> they was about to go on as if we're not on this show. <laughs> We're just it. talking, aren't we? Yes, but I, I love it because this, seeing you all, and I don't know if I, no, I won't tell my secret. Yeah, I'm going to tell my secret. I got introduced to good R&B music by Auntie Sandy, though. That's too much information. That's too much information. Thank you, and the Lord bless you. And you and go I kept, on, I kept and you go on in prayer. You go. I'm hosting this party, Father. <laughs> which one, Kiki? Which song? Tell us which one, honey, baby. I don't it, want to get in trouble. It was Brandy, you know, wasn't it? All of the songs. It was Brandy? No. Was it Kira? I don't know. Somebody had come out new, and every time I pick the kids it's, up, it's 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 Karen supposed to be talking now because that that's too much information. That's okay. too much information. Sorry, Kira, we'll keep that between us. Yes, yeah. <laughs> right now. I did want to just highlight though, you you are friendship. Like you know, you all were my first examples, and then of course, mommy and daddy being my first example of love and. Y'all have helped me identify what friendships are all about. Papu once said, it's not a quantity, it's the quality. And y'all relationship, because I'm sure it's been brother, sister fallout, but y'all still put back up. And so even today, like with my friends, I'm like, nah, daddy, auntie, Cindy, and auntie Dodo, they have picked up right about now. So I agree. Oh, yeah, we're going to pick up. You got it. You got it. But, you know, I am the, the, um, the one that has to help these two. Because you know, Dorinda, well, we be going at will, Dorinda will go at Bishop, and I'm like, Dorinda, and then here he'll come and he'll go back at Dorinda, and I'm like, I'm the, I'm the one in the middle, right? Right, right, you're right. I got I got to give you your props, you you are right, yeah. I'm gonna try to ease but, it. No, but we can't be like that. 90 percent of the time, I'm right, Dorinda's wrong. Okay. No, no, sometimes I'll be right. You I said I'm right 90% of the time. That's too much. That no, percentage is too high. See, thank you, Cindy. See what see, I'm saying? See how I got to help out. See what I'm out. saying? See what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> well, sisters, we're going to let y'all finish y'all time. I'm sure y'all going to talk tonight. Ooh, uh, we got a lot right. to say. We sure do. We got a whole lot to talk about. You, said you, 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 there. Get, you um get your phone together, Dorinda, because her phone cuts off. So you get your phone together. So that we can stay on the phone so we don't have to keep calling you back. 
<laughs> okay, thank you, Auntie. You welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Love I love y'all. you, my brother. Right. Happy birthday. Love y'all. I just appreciate Ooh. you so much. You just I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> I didn't mean to cut you off. I'm sorry. Cut off. Oh, just, oh there I am. Yeah. All there. right, now send you send you some lemonade money to your cash app, okay? Thank you. <laughs> did you hear? Did you hear Auntie Cindy look in the corner of that screen and say, "Oh, there I am." <laughs> okay, look, she's still trying to figure out. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Uh, look, we start having uh, more fun than daddy because he looking like these people are strange. Okay, I was jo- trying to do an introduction, but of course, this is the queen. The queen. She's your queen. To be. Oh my God, oh, that's too much. Thank God for a, a daughter that just takes us right to a yeah. place. Wow, I am just ecstatic. I'm ecstatic. First of all, let me say thank you to everyone for loving on the most incredible man. Oh my goodness! I mean, uh, naturally so, and and spiritually, this this I just really appreciate everybody and. All of the greats came on here. Oh my goodness, Bishop Hez, Bishop William Murphy, Warren Campbell, Bishop, um, uh, Bishop, uh, who was it, honey? Pierce. Pierce. Yes, Bishop Pierce, and oh, oh my goodness. It, yeah. Bishop Donnie McClurkin. And, yeah. and I can just keep going and and to just, um, and oh i'm just in awe right now of the love that that was given so due to you honey but i'm just i'm not gonna be long but i just want to tell you how much i appreciate you as a wife i mean you make my world go round and i have i had a few notes that i want to say when when i was single i will never forget when i counted my blessings god said to me i haven't completed my work when God sent you sweeping me off my feet, I will always be grateful for the hero as an eagle flying me high, protecting me from the chickens below. Ooh, it was some chickens. It was some chickens. But thank God you swept me away from, from them chickens. <laughs> Honey, so today I am thankful to God for bringing you in this world in, on January 1st. So I say thank you, honey, for sweeping me off my feet, making my dreams come true. I never will forget uh, how you just gave me my first built home. You gave me my first black diamonds. Oh, I can just keep going I keep going. And I, I my fur coat that I will never, never, I have never thought I would get that and you just i just thank you and it's always not about material things it's the thought and you have i mean been a great father you've been a great husband you've been a great leader oh i can just my i can just stick my chest out and walk in any room anywhere and say i have the best husband in the world and i'm so godly proud of you you your leadership just oh my goodness it just i love and the one thing that i have to say and i I, i'm gonna say it on here right now is that one thing i regret about people and that they give this cop out saying that because i am at your ministry that's how your ministry growing the devil is a lie stop using that lie i come against that whoever said it just because I, I'm his wife. The devil is a lie. When God puts something together, he puts us together as a team. I rarely sing at the ministry. Isn't that right, honey? Okay. Yeah, honey, I don't worry, worry about that. Let's okay. just I, 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 I wanted to put that out there. First of all, put it out. your ministry is built off of the word of God, and that's the anointing inside of you. That's how Greater Emmanuel was built. Not off of singing. Yes. Come on now. 
I mean, you know, the word of God. Uh, okay, I'm gonna cut it. She yeah. said cut it, but I just want to put that. I wanted to say that you are anointed man of God, yeah. and you are a man of valor. I'm just proud to be your queen, and thank you for being the castle. Uh, I mean, the the king of my castle that you built for me. I love you, honey. Mwah. Love you more. You know I love you. Thank yeah. you for being my wife. Thank you for being my friend. And thank you for always, not 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 most of the time, but always standing with me. I love you so much. I love you. She is your queen to me. <laughs> I was about, hey, I was about to cry, but then she did that. That just took right. it away. Thank you. I love you, honey. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, they carry on. Happy birthday, Daddy. Wow, it's been incredible, Kiara. Thank I you so you. much. I love you so much. I appreciate you. I love you, too. There is one more guest. Oh, okay. Oh, they... One more guest. Stand by, please. I got some questions for you. Daddy, I'm good. Uh, and uh, first, I want to say um, some quick questions. Here we, go, here, we go, here we go. Here we go. Would you rather be hot or cold? Hot. If your life were a movie or a song, what would it be? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not getting that. I'm not answering that one. Daddy. <laughs> Okay, if you could have named yourself, what would your name be? I'm good with my name. Okay. Are you most like your mother or your father? My father. Who got the most whippings, Kiki or J. Drew? Y'all didn't get that many whoopings. I don't remember. Y'all try to act like y'all try to act like y'all got y'all got fussed at, but I don't know who got the most whoopings. I okay, who got in the most trouble? Me or J. Drew? You. I got in the most trouble. Yeah, see, you were you were you got in trouble more growing up. J. Drew got in trouble more when he got older. <laughs> well, we are all here and we want to say happy birthday. Oh, they're my fam. <laughs> they're my grandkids and my son. Yeah. What's up, Dad? Happy birthday. Oh, that's good. <laughs> look at look at Callie. Where are you looking at, Callie? And Jacob, man, you hey, good. Look. We've been we've been watching we've been watching the um, broadcast all day, so we oh wow they kind of looking at themselves on the screen. We oh I got it I got it. Stuff. But I just want we just wanted to come in and say happy birthday. Thank you for being an awesome role model to all of us. You know we love you, Dad. You already know how I feel about you. I know I'm not the most expressive person, but of course I am happy to call you my dad. You mean yeah. everything to us. I, I try to model everything I do after you, as you can see, these little two ones. And I must be doing a pretty good job because they all smile since I'm doing a good job. <laughs> right. I learned everything from y'all, Poppy. So y'all make sure y'all appreciate Poppy. What you got to say, Jay? Well, uh, Poppy, I love you. And I just want to wish you a happy birthday. Thank you, yeah. bud. Kevin? I just want to say I love you, Puppy. You did this. Stop you. looking at yourself. Look <laughs> right here. She up there looking at herself on the screen. Go I ahead. I just want to say I love you, Puppy. You did things for me and stuff. You, I, you, I learned stuff from you and stuff. And what else? And happy birthday. Thank you, Callie. Callie Molly. <laughs> we love you, Dad. All right. Love y'all, too. All right, y'all later. Love you. Okay, um, mommy, I'm on the live and she's talking on the phone. Okay, uh, here's another opportunity. Oh, hey, man, what's up, Reverend? You are the man. You all right? I'm doing good. 
Um, my Good. mom had a little um, issue, you know how my, my, I'm a mama's boy. And sure. um, so I wanted to make sure that I got here to see about her. So I jumped no, in the car and drove up to St. Louis yeah. uh, to make sure that she here. But I didn't want the day to end without me having the opportunity to tell you happy birthday. And uh, thank you, sir. I hope you're many, many, many more. Uh, yes, sir. Me the uh, responsibility of being loyal and to make sure that uh, we keep everything in place. And so I have learned how to um, handle diversity and handle problems and struggles because you have been a good example. I was talking to Pastor Bevan on the other day, and um, I told him that during the pandemic, you lost your mom, but you never stopped doing what you had to do. Responsibility said, keep doing. And I know that there were times when you had to probably go by yourself and have your little uh, private moment. But every time you came out, you um, you had on the face and you had on the uh, you had on the, uh, the the responsibility of uh, leadership. And so I said, if he can do it, then I'm sure that I can. And so um, my brother and I were not uh, very, you know, we, we had our issues, but um, I'm a mama's boy and I wanted to make sure that my mom was OK. Sure. So, but sure. I, I did not want your day to go by. I um, I'm not family like Dorinda and um, all of those other people. But, you know, I'm there. And um, I'm going to always be there because I, I believe that my assignment is to be there with you. Yeah. To make sure that everything goes the way that it should. Yes, sir. And so I love you. Uh, happy 62nd birthday. That's right. <laughs> and um, uh, uh, on the 23rd, we're going to do what needs to be done to make sure that everything goes the way that it's supposed to go. This is your day and your season. And uh, uh, I think it was B.B. Wine that says you were born for this. Yes, sir. And so we are excited about what's going to happen and looking forward to the future. And so be encouraged. Um, I'll be back in place for Sunday and um, we're going to make sure that everything goes well. Love you, man. Appreciate you, you so much. Yes, you yes, have my sir. prayers. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Kiara. Appreciate you. Love you, Martha, Superintendent. All right, Daddy. One more. One more. Hey, my brother. Oh, that's my big brother. <laughs> hey, Mike, what's happening, hey, man? Hey, Bishop, how are oh, you? Oh, man, that's my big brother there. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, happy birthday to Thank who you, I call my covenant brother. Yes, sir. Uh, 62 years and 30 of those years, we have been in covenant relationship. Yes, sir. And it goes without saying how much I love you. Yes, sir. Uh, I honor and respect you, even though I'm older. Yeah. I honor you. Not often do I call you Drew. Even when you call me, yeah. I say Bishop. Yes, because sir. Because I honor the leader and the God in you. I'm not going to talk long, but you know, there's a young man in the Bible that when they saw him coming, they said, here comes the dreamer. Yes, sir. And when I look at you, and I want to say to everyone that's watching tonight, get ready because the dreamer is coming my lord and i'm expecting i guess i might as well join in february 23rd god is going to do what only god can do yeah enjoy this day i think i've already sent something to you man i was calling <laughs> when i saw that man that was phenomenal thank you brother and I Thank love you, you Pearl and I. She said happy birthday to her brother. My sister, I love Thank her. Thank you, Sierra, for including me. And may God bless you. And may heaven smile upon you. God bless you, Bishop. Bless you, man. Love you, Doc. Love you, too. Thank you, Uncle Bishop. <laughs> love you, daughter. <laughs> love you, too. Okay, Dad. Do you see how you're so loved? Wow. This is this was phenomenal. I'm so glad you loved it. I know that you've gone through a lot this year, and I know you love people. You love serving people. You love loving on people. I heard you say when we first had to start wearing our masks, the thing that you don't like about wearing a mask is that you can't let people see you smile. Wow. And I said, wow, that's the fact that you want somebody to see you smile because that encourages someone. That's right. You're the, you're the ultimate encourager. So I love you so much that, you know, I can talk, 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 talk. <laughs> but I have one more guest and this is it. 
Um, Bishop, my brother. <laughs> now we go way back. <laughs> he, uh, he He's on mute. I can't hear him. Okay. Can you hear me now? There you go, brother. Thank you, man. Love you, man. You know, I called you earlier. Yeah. This Was I the first one to call you today? No, sir. But you will <laughs> call me, though. <laughs> you called me. Uh, yeah, man. God bless you, brother. Hey, let me let me celebrate my daughter, though, in doing this great event. You know, that's the problem. I had two sons. I didn't have no girls. You I always say that. <laughs> and uh, so uh, thank you, Kiki, for doing this and allowing me to get in. I know I was late finding out about it, but I said, ain't no way in the world they're going to celebrate my brother and not, not be able to be a part. We've been uh, together, man, down with it together in this church for many, many years. I love you and your family and what you represent, uh, even your dad and all that he is. You know, I call him uh, Uncle Sheard, and we appreciate you and even what your kids are doing and your family at large and what you've done in Michigan through that ministry. You know, remember when we were, you know, I, I would come up to preach with you when you got that first little church. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, later, we were there for something. You know, when I came, let me tell you guys this. Bishop Shear, you know, he always thought he outdressed me, but he really did. And so, <laughs> boy, he took me uh, to, what was it, Jack's Place? Jack's Place, that's it. I think it was a call of Reuben, a suit called Reuben, I think. That's it, Doc. <laughs> but, hey, no, you didn't buy me nothing. You just took no, me. I, no, no, you bought it. You had more money. You always had more money than me. No, that ain't it. But anyway, <laughs> up links, Bishop, that uh, we got together then that time got to be those cufflinks have to be 40 years old <laughs> i wear them man i think about you i appreciate you uh you meant to to all of us and what you've been doing in ministry and in the church and how we've learned from each other as we've gone through the years happy birthday to you wish you many many more do not tell me what uh bishop michael hill gave so i'm not intimidated when i give a gift as well because you just start speaking in tongues Glory. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about yeah, but man, I appreciate you. Uh, there was yeah. something say that you did. We were up there uh, shopping and, and and other stuff that was going on. But so many, we got so many memories from back. You would come to Jackson, Tennessee before you and Karen got married. That's she right. And you came there to spend some time and to be a part. Man, uh, I'm just yeah. thankful God allowed us to be brothers and to remain in this church as we have. And I know that God has so much more planned for you. Keep doing the great job that you're doing. I love you, man of God. If there's anything I can do to help in any way, you know with what you're doing and what you're pushing forward and doing in life, you know I'm right here with you. We love you. We are thick and thin. Right there together, all the way through it, okay? Thank you, brother. Appreciate you coming on, man. And I, I thought you were going to tell the story about us being in Atlanta when we was going to pick up no, no. the damn car. <laughs> Don't tell it. Don't tell it. <laughs> no, Thank you for coming on, Bishop. I appreciate you, man. Love you much. Love you too, man. Have a wonderful one. Happy, happy New Year to you and all of those that are watching. Blessings Thank to you. you. Thank you, Thank Keith. You. Here you have children. There he is. Hey, there he is. Bishop, happy birthday. Just wanted to say happy birthday. Man, um, I appreciate it. You know, it's been uh, it's been a pleasure just. Uh, getting to know you on a different uh, a different level. You've been you've been uh, always a, been an inspiration to me. Uh, you've been good to me. You've been kind to me. Um, again, like I said in the text message, just uh, been real receptive to me. Uh, I just want you to know that your daughter is in good hands, and I just want you to have a a very happy birthday, special birthday. Thank you, man. Love you, Doc. Love you too. All, All right, right, Daddy. That's it. Happy birthday. Great. Thank you, Kiara, for all you've done and for everyone who has done, uh, who has come on the, all of the comments. I'm going to go back through the whole thing and I'm going to read all the comments. And then uh, I want to thank everybody that uh, my phone has been blinging, blinging where people are sending me birthday gifts. And I thank you so very much and may God bless you. OK, Kiki, I'm finished. All right, I love you all. Bye. Thank you so much for joining us, everybody.